Hey guys, um, Bing here. Previously we did this uh, family and without a voice it's quite hard to follow. So today I'm going to do another one with a slightly different approach. Okay, so let's do it. First, create a generic model and place some reference plans. RPA, dimension, di, equal, equal. Okay, so this one, create a depth, depth parameter. So this one will be the width. And I'll go to elevation, RP, di, and create a height parameter. So now we need some extra reference plans. So in the dimension. So and then create a offset parameter. Go back to floor plan, and we need to create some extra reference plans. Dimension. And select them and assign the offset to them. Okay, so now all the reference plans are finished. Now we have a look at this image. So now we need to create some reference lines. Okay, but before that, we need to pick the word plan for the reference line. So uh, imagine this is the front. Okay, so this is front, this is back, this is left, this is right. This is top, this is bottom. Okay, so in this floor plan, this work plan will be the front. So create, set, set work plan, pick a plan, and pick this front, and then open this front uh, elevation. So we're going to, uh, hang on, let me just close this left and close this 3D view so, so, so we can use WT, hang on, WT to create this is the front elevation and this is the floor plan. Okay, so in the uh, so because we already set the word plan of this reference plan, we can draw we can start to draw the reference line in the front elevation. So if you stand at this corner looking that way, so this reference plan reference lines, these four one, two, three, four, we're sitting on the right bottom um, corner so create a reference line we will draw this four reference lines and then lock them and then go back to floor plan create a set work plan pick a plan okay and this time we pick the back uh, reference Plan. We still open the front view, so in this view, so if you're still standing at this corner looking that way, see one, two, three, four, we are sitting at the top left corner. So create a reference plan, a reference line here, yeah. and lock, lock, and lock, and lock. Okay, so now go to uh, floor plan and set a work plan, pick the pick plan OK and pick the left so now this time open the left elevation so I'm going to close this front view and the WT and so this is the left uh, left uh, left elevation so if you standing this corner looking that way so the left one two three four will be sitting at the left corner so and um, so this time, because see this one is already there, so we are going to just create one, two, three. Okay, so reference line, and just to do it. So from here to here, and block, block. From here to here, and block. From here to um, to here. To here okay so lock and now go uh, go to floor plan 
set work plan, pick a plan, pick the right uh, reference plan, still open the left. So we come back here and this this one, two, three, four will be sitting at the top right corner. So in reference sign in this left work plan. So we, we, we need to start from here. So one, two. So make sure we draw a, a reference line so if you don't have this chain checked on if, just uncheck that one so you can lock them straight away okay so go down here lock and go down to uh i believe it's it's to here and then lock so now uh, now let's go set work plan in the in this left elevation set work plan because we need to pick the top uh, reference plan and uh, so select this reference level which is floor plan and then we can draw the top one two three four okay so if you're looking down these are uh, sitting at this right right top corner and also if you will see uh, we should already have this one and this one we just need to draw this one and this one so reference line, I'll start from here to here and just lock and lock and from here to here and lock and lock. Okay, so once again, go to elevation, create, set, work plan, pick a plan, okay. Tab, select this reference uh, plan and open. So go back to here, create a reference line. And this time it's sitting on uh, uh, left bottom corner. So which is, we already have this one, this one. So we just need to start from here to here, lock, lock, here to here, lock, lock. So now let's just go to 3D view. And I think it's roughly there. So we just need to do a little bit trim, okay? so. So let's trim it. So trim here to here, here to here, and here to here, and here to here. Yep, that's it. So now let's have a look, have a test. Okay, so go, uh, for example, 900. All good. Go back to 1200. Yes. Um, 1200 height. Good. Uh, 900 good so if I change this uh, offset a 80 good oh actually see uh, there's some so this corner and this corner is not um, constrained properly just we just need to lock them okay so go back to floor plan and let's have a look oh just type VV and turn on this automatic sketch dimensions and okay nothing happening here so which is all good so go to the front elevation do the same bv check this on okay okay so see there's a few so one two three four um let's just yeah we need to lock this end so al tap click uh not this one try, let's try again yes good so here so this reference line it's not locked onto this um, reference plan, so we just need to AL, click here, click here, and lock. All good. Here, same, AL, this, and this, lock. And also this one. So let's figure out which one it is for. Um, maybe this one. Um, I'll just temp HH. So if it's, so when you see this temporary dimension, if it's so if if I click this one and this one, then the temporary dimension doesn't change, which means it's not linked to this one. I can just temporarily hide that, and see this one. So this reference line, if I uh, if I click on this one and this change, this dim temporary dimension change, which means this temporary dimension is linked to this reference line. I just need to lock this reference line to the reference plan so al uh hang on maybe i'm picking the another one behind this or let's just try again 
try again, try again. Yep, that's it. Okay, so let's have a look of left as well. Okay, VV. Yep, so it's, it's still two here. Just let's fix it. So this one. Okay, so AL. This. Hmm, maybe another one. Yep, so that's it. So, and we need to figure out. So, yeah, this one. AL. Tab. Oh, hell, let me just temporarily hold this. And then, yeah, this one. So I'll just even pick this one and pick this reference reference plan HI, and so make sure that's only this reference, uh, these two elements there, HR. So now, all, all good. So now let's go back to 3D view again and uh, have a test. Um, okay, so 900, 900. Uh, 200. Oh, that's sorry, 900, not 90. Yeah, I think that's perfect. So now we can create a sweep, create, sweep, and pick path. So let's pick the path. And Okay, edit profile. So I'm going to uh, create a, a, rec a square and let me just change the scale. So do a di we can do a dimension. Okay, so uh, and then we can create a parameter. Let's call it profile uh, uh, width. Okay. And OK and OK. So now if I adjust, let's just offset. So one, hang on. oh sorry. If I change this to 100, offset 120. Yeah. Uh, maybe uh, a 75 and 90. OK, so that's it. So you can change uh, so because we create uh, the width or different parameters. So you can change if you want to. You can make different shape. If, so any shape you like, okay. And also um, we can even edit. So let's let me show you. So we can even add a little bit. So for the profile, we can even create maybe a, a radius, something like that, and. Tangent. And even do a dimension radius. Uh, maybe I'll change the scale again. And create a, a radius. Let's call it profile radius. And go finish it and OK. So, so it won't uh, hurt your feet. Um, change, you can change the radius one, or even um, let's try to make it a circle. Nope. Um, hang on. So, the profile width, make it 80. Still no. Uh, how about 39.9? Still no. Maybe 39.5. Yeah. So it's almost uh, circle. The, the profile is almost circle. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. Um, if you have any question, please let me know. I'll see you next time. And yeah, I'll upload this family as well. Thank you. Bye.